Okay, yes, I bought some Mega Million tickets today, ignoring the odds of winning. And since $420 million would be so much easier to live on than one or two million, I'm in. Try. That's the best thing. Try. Because you might get lucky. What is it about blowing hard-earned cash on a ticket of chance right before the holidays that seems so rational? How about picking the auto lotto compared to picking your own numbers? Is there any that difference there? It doesn't make any difference. It doesn't make any difference at all. Case Western Reserve University's mathematics professor, Dr. Voiber Wojcinski, says calculating the simple odds of winning the Mega Million is elementary. In the case of lottery, the calculations are very simple. So uh, there is uh, one in 250 million chance. The reason why so many spent cash on a crazy gamble is not as easy of a calculation. It's all about perspective. So you bought a ticket last night and for one dollar. You buy 24 hours of uh, living in the fantasy universe. <laughs> all right, what are the odds if I just play once? Well, this is the odds of winning the jackpot in one drawing. That's one in 259 million folks, but if you like 50-50 games, the odds eventually get better if you play every day forever. Well, if you really do want to have a 50-50 chance, then you have to wait a little longer. You will have to wait 1,794,000 years. That's a lot of patience. That's a lot of patience, right. The odds are one in 259 million that you'll win. Yeah, I don't play it. Why do you play the lottery when the odds are so high? Because a dollar for 400 million seems pretty fair to me. On your side in Cleveland, Dave Arnold, News Channel 5. <laughs> and remember, no matter what the odds, you can see those mega million numbers drawn live tonight right before our 11 o'clock news.